everybody, welcome back. Welcome back to the fourth video in my Hello Kitty theme week. Today we're making a Hello Kitty lunch. And this video, like the previous two, is generously sponsored by BB Teen. And they actually gave me the idea to do this theme week because they have come up with a collaboration with Hello Kitty. And they have Hello Kitty lunch boxes and pencil cases and makeup brush holders and everything. Oh my god, it's so, so cute. And so I knew that like I would have to show it to you guys so that you guys would like it. So if you guys haven't checked out the other, how many? There are three videos that I posted this week that are also Hello Kitty themed. We did a Hello Kitty breakfast, Hello Kitty snacks, and a Hello Kitty cake. I will have a playlist linked in the cards right here if you guys want to go check it out. Um, but yeah, so today we're going to make Hello Kitty snacks and we're making my most favorite chicken pot pie recipe. This is like, it is so easy. It's one of those recipes where if somebody's coming over, okay, in my mind, like a guy, somebody's coming over and you want to like, make something for them like somebody that you're dating or your parents or anything like that or just a friend and you want to make something like really really like delicious for them or you want to treat yourself to a fabulous lunch the next day or and or because these can be reheated this is the perfect recipe chicken pot pie does sound a little bit intimidating but i promise you it's not this is so simple and um it's, it's so delicious oh my gosh and we're also making hello kitty shaped little buns to go with the pot pie that you can dunk in to get like all the deliciousness out of the little bowl and as well as a healthy salad just because it's, vegetables are good <laughs> so anyways let's get started all right so first things first we are going to be making the filling for the chicken pot pie first so what you want to do is melt some butter in a frying pan set to medium heat then add some onions and some celery and cook for two minutes then add some salt pepper and flour and cook for three to four minutes Add some chicken stock and bring it to a boil. Then reduce it to low heat and simmer until the stew thickens for about eight to 10 minutes. Then remove from the heat, add some milk, the potatoes, carrot, peas, corn, mushrooms, and some chopped up chicken. And I'm using cooked chicken just to make it that much easier. So if you have, um, if like grocery stores around you have those little rotisserie chickens that are already cooked, they are so handy um just get one of those and use like both little chicken breasts or like honestly any parts of the chicken that you like and then you can eat the rest of the chicken and just like pop that pop the chopped up chicken into the pot pie mixture i am so nervous about cooking chicken as you guys can see i never cook chicken on my channel except for one video because i know how to roast a chicken but anything other than that i'm always like super nervous about so um if you are like me and you're terrified of getting like salmonella or you don't want to get sick you're using cooked chicken somebody else will cook the chicken for you so there's no need to worry about like not baking them like not baking the pot pies long enough so i've got you covered there if you guys are as nervous as i am <laughs> then you want to season it with some more salt and pepper and then pour the stew into eight ramekins then I have some pie crust here. Um, if you guys would like the recipe to the pie crust, I'll have a recipe, I'll have a video linked in the cards right here, or you can use store-bought. Either way works. It just depends on what you feel like doing. My recipe is really, really easy to make, but honestly, store-bought works just as well. So totally up to you. So you want to cut the pie crust into eight circles that are slightly bigger than the rim of the ramekins. Then use a Hello Kitty cookie cutter to cut out eight little Hello Kitty faces, and then just stick them onto the center of the pie crust. And so I'll have the cookie cutter linked in the description box below if you guys want to pick it up. I used it in yesterday's video to make Hello Kitty cheese and crackers. So cute. Um, so I'm slightly biased, but I think they're cute. Um, so yeah, anything I use in this video, including everything that PB Teen um, is offering that I'm showing you guys, everything will be linked in the description box below. So don't worry, I have all the links here for you. <laughs> So I'm going to place the crust on top of the ramekins and tuck the edges of the crust into the edge of the ramekins with a fork. Then cut slits into the top of each pot pie with a sharp knife. And sorry, that was tricky. That was my dog. Um, and you don't want to like poke Hello Kitty's face, so I just put little holes around Hello Kitty's face. All that's doing is it's going to um, allow like a little spot for air to release. Uh, that that's like important when you make a pie. So just like create a little couple slits, and then you're good to go. Then you want to place the ramekins on a baking sheet and bake at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 to 45 minutes or until the crust is brown and crispy. Then you from the oven and let it cool before packing into your lunch. And um, you do want to use a container that it's kind of like snug because you don't want it like spilling everywhere. Um, but it is pretty like dense after it's finished cooking and cooling. Um, if you want to reheat it, make sure that you're using ramekins that can be used in the microwave. That is very, very important. Um, I, a cool trick that I, I thought was cool <laughs> um, is using the aluminum, aluminum foil pie plates, but then you can't microwave those. So if you're bringing this to school or to work and you only have a microwave and not an oven, um, like, like, basically every office at school <laughs> um then it, you're, you're gonna be like kind of like stuck if you want to heat it up so definitely make sure to check your ramekins just to save yourself a headache most of them can be used in the microwave but definitely double check 
So now we are going to make the little bread rolls. So this is literally the easiest thing ever. Oh my gosh, it's, it's so easy, but it adds like the cutest little touch. So all you need is store-bought pizza dough. Like that's all you need. Store-bought pizza dough is so versatile, I love it. Um, I actually made donuts with it the other day, so the video is linked in the cart, so if you guys wanna check that out. Um, but all you need to do is grab a little Hello Kitty silicone mold or like cupcake pan or anything that you like. Again, I have the one that I use, linked in the description box below if you guys wanna pick it up. Um, but you just wanna get a little ball of pizza dough, shape it into a ball, pop it into a greased um, cupcake pan and the the grease is going to help brown the pizza dough as well so it'll give you that beautiful coloring and then bake at 450 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes or until they're golden brown and like they're fully cooked in the middle um a golden golden brown and when you tap it it should sound a little bit hollow that is what you're looking for and allow them to cool then just pack this into your lunch and I also did a little salad just to get if the like, vegetables are healthy and I like the addition of color as well so I just used some salad greens and some chopped cucumbers and some tomatoes a little behind the scenes, um, little sneaky fact for you guys. The dogs are obsessed with cucumbers. So I use mini cucumbers and I cut one in half and then both Paddington and Treagle got one and they were like so happy, it's so cute. Um, yeah, and then I just topped it with some Italian dressing. And um, again, if you guys didn't watch yesterday, um, all of the little, like the lunch boxes and like the food containers that I'm using are also from Pottery Barn and I use them all the time. They're such wonderful quality. So if you guys want some reliable um, food containers as well, link is in the description box below and there we go and then we are done so thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you liked this video um i think that honestly pbt has like the best quality everything i am so <laughs> loyal to this brand um they haven't asked me to say this at all but i am always blown away whenever they send me things um but just by like this year like the quality because if um if you have it, if you're buying this for your kid and they tend to be like rough with their lunch boxes or like things get thrown around when they're in school, this will last them a significant amount of time. I'm really thankful more than a year. Um, they really put a lot of thought into like designing it and it's very, very strong. The, um, I'm like, how do I open this? It's been too, much, too long since I've been in high school. But yeah, I realize it's been 10 years since I graduated high school today. I feel old. Um, but anyways, the inside, it has like a little hard lining. The dog's room um but yeah so it is pretty sturdy and then there's a place to put your name and everything in case you lose it or your child loses it so i think that this is so wonderful um and again it comes with a matching or does it come but they also sell um a matching backpack with a beautiful gold metallic hello key pattern it's like i really think that this would be perfect for any age group obviously you can wear whatever you like at any age but um i think it's like it's like a very like sophisticated kind of like design um just because it's, it's just very pretty and it's gold and it's still subtle um and oh it's so pretty i think it's gorgeous the um it I might look white on camera but this is actually it looks like a pale pink at least to me <laughs> hold it against something that's white yes it does look like a pale pink which i think adds so much to it and the zipper is beautiful and gold as well so gorgeous and i'm sure as you guys saw like for the whole video there is this as well it's like a little you can use it for anything i use it as a little utensil holder you can use it for makeup brushes um pencils or pens at your desk at home anything like that i think that this is so cute even like a little flower pot i wonder if that would work that way so cute anyways um, thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't yet please hit the subscribe button and ring that notification bell because tomorrow i'm doing a hello kitty haul um i love my job because it's an excuse to go shopping so i bought a ton of hello kitty stuff so you can see what i got um and one of them is a toaster so um so yeah make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on oh my god a hello kitty toaster and um uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for the video. Thank you guys so much. And again, thank you so much to PBT for sponsoring this video. Um, if you guys pick these up, let me know in the comments down below what you think and tell me what you got. I'm so excited. So yeah, love you guys so much.